In the past few years, Doha Cat made some hit songs, was featured with some big name artists, and won some trophies at award shows. This media attention allowed her to stand out from the pack of unknown rappers and become one of the biggest stars in the music industry. However, this rise to success came at a cost. As Doha Cat's popularity grew, everything around her took a bizarre turn. The symbolism surrounding her work became darker, while her social media posts had people worrying about her mental stability. In short, Doha Cat appears to be following a similar path to Britney Spears, the ultimate industry slave. In the early stages of her career, Doha Cat had a standard female pop star look. In recent months, the imagery surrounding switched to abuse, mind control, and submission to the elite. Doha Cat is often featured on this channel because she often partakes in photo shoots that are replete with symbolism. In this V Magazine photo shoot, a plasticky Doha is chained and controlled by an octopus, a classic symbol representing the elite. In the past weeks, Doha has been engaging in some strange behavior that is reminiscent of Britney Spears' infamous 2007 head shaving breakdown. Doha Cat recently live streamed herself shaving her hair and eyebrows. One of the top comments in this Instagram post is about Doha possibly having a Britney meltdown season. At the 2023 Balenciaga show, Doha had bleached shaved hair, a classic way of identifying MK slaves. Also, her makeup was purposely made to look as if she had a black eye and a bruised lip, a reference to the abuse of industry slaves. In a recent pic, Doha has butterfly wings, representing monarch programming, and devil horns, representing satanic industry. In short, Doha Cat is in full industry slave mode. And this fact was on full display at her 27th birthday party which took place on October 21st. Clearly inspired by the movie Eyes Wide Shut, which is all about the occult elite's magic rituals, the birthday party was a star-studded event, where nearly every guest was a certified industry slave. Case in point. Nearly all of them were featured on this channel at some point or another. Here's a look at this symbolic affair. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The movie Eyes Wide Shut is about occult rituals that gather rich and powerful people with slaves. I remember when I first watched Eyes Wide Shut, back in 1999. Boy, I guess I reacted the same way critics did at the time the movie came out, and thought, this movie is boring, and there is nothing hot about it. More than a decade later, equipped with a little more knowledge and patience, I re-watched the movie. And it blew my mind. In fact, many guests at Doha Cat's birthday party were dressed as slaves, just like in the movie. Before the party, several guests made their entrance as the paparazzi took pictures. It was a staged media event that was rather cringy and embarrassing for everyone involved. Justin Bieber has been in industry for years and was often involved in weird humiliating situations. He arrived at the party with a mask and a cape. Bieber's wife, Hailey, arrived at the party in lot a proper uniform for an industry beta kitten. Kendall Jenner arrived at the party wearing a black ritualistic veil. Although Tyga hasn't made a hit record in, like, forever, he's often part of these weird Hollywood socialite events. Maybe it has to do with the fact that he was in a relationship with 16-year-old Kelly Jenner when he was in his mid-twenties. Tyga arrived at the event wearing a ritualistic mask and a cape. Ty Dollar Sign wore a red cape and a creepy mask. His girlfriend looked weird. Industry Ariana Grande showcased her butterfly tattoo, representing monarch programming. Artists Normani, Justine Skye, and Coilere all went for the slave look. This is what these new female artists have to do to make it in the industry. And, Doha Cat arrived at the party with an eyes wide shut mask and a cape. 
Then, the birthday cake came out of a vehicle and was paraded around for the cameras. The least one can say is that this cake was symbolic. At the top of the cake, the symbol of the f a square and compass. At the bottom, the classic symbol represented an all-seeing eye inside a triangle. While well, this event can be interpreted as a goofy themed birthday party, it turned into an actual ritual of submission humiliation involving Doha Cat. Because, in actuality, none of this is a joke. After the party, gossip news sites promptly reported that Doha Cat accidentally exposed herself. This is a headline from the Daily Mail about Doha exposing herself to cameras. Of course, the articles were accompanied by a bunch of pics. Was this accident actually staged? Probably. Is it a mere coincidence that actual mis- candidates expose one breast during their initiation ritual? Probably not. I mean, the birthday cake literally had mis- symbols on it. Remember this. This is a picture of a mis- candidate with one breast exposed. The next day, several pictures of Doha Cat posing half-naked at the party were leaked online. That was probably planned as well. Several people posted pictures of a Doha Cat on social media. The fact that Doha was the only person exposing herself at the party is telling. In this event themed around an elite or she was the main in a ritual of submission and humiliation, she had to expose herself to these guests and, through media, the world. Those are the kinds of sacrifices industry slaves have to make to remain in the good graces of their handlers. If they don't, they might become part of the 27 Club. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.